Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today's topic is keep winning. Keep winning. And our Bible lesson is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. I read, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? In life, never be afraid of your adversaries or critics because they don't count. Irrespective of the conditions, keep growing, keep winning, keep making progress. Let nothing stop you. The more powerful your critics, the more glorious your life really is. No one would bother about you if you were a failure. When your dictators or adversaries depend spend time spend time spend money or other effort in an attempt to get at you and draw you have no fear it's evidence that you are making an impact if you remain focused you will keep succeeding why they keep stumbling because no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper isaiah 54 17 First John 4.4 4 says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Our opening scripture says, If God be for us, who can be against us? David had a beautiful revelation about this. He knew he had lots of enemies. In Psalm 27, 1-2, he said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Everyone has their place in the world. That of your detractors is they stumbled and fell. Never try to avenge or get back at your critics at all or those who have set themselves up as your enemies. They are in trouble with God. What you should rather do is what Jesus said. Pray for them and bless them. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Matthew 5.44 Keep making impact for the Lord. Keep winning and refuse to care about the resolute criticisms and adversities. For they don't count, Jesus said. These things I have spoken on, unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be, good, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Glory to God. In our life we live today, there are so many people that call themselves our enemies. Child of God, God is alive in you. I want to pray for you, my viewers. I want to pray for you, my listeners. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for your glory in my life. You are in dwelling presence that assures me of success and victory every day. I count it all joy to face diverse tests and trials because they are for my promotion. They work for me a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory as I keep my gaze on you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May you be blessed in Jesus' glorious name, amen.